Well, I'm out chasing the fog this morning. I woke up to a really nice fog, and it's always great here on the coast when you get a foggy day. So I grabbed the cameras, and now I'm out looking for subjects. I always have a few places in mind uh, to head to when there's a great fog. Uh, it's kind of nice to keep a list like that in your head, if not written down somewhere, uh, so that when the conditions present themselves, you can just go right there. Um, but of course, you always have to stay open uh, and just see what you find along the way, because you might pass up a really great shot while you're on your way to something, and um, it's always a tough choice. Well, here's a roadside picture that I've looked at many times. Um, it's a tree growing out over the water. And today, with this beautiful fog, I thought it would be a terrific opportunity to uh, give this a shot again. And um, there's no wind and just a little bit of waves. And so I've used about a four-stop ND uh, to just smooth out the water. And I'm looking at this in black and white. And I think it's a really nice, simple, uh, calm composition to, uh, to take advantage of the fog this morning. So it always pays to just look around um, whatever your composition is that you've got uh, locked in on, but just take a look around, maybe look at it from a different angle. And I really think this new view uh, is maybe even a little better uh, than the first one that I've been working on for months. I just moved about 30 feet down the road and just have a different angle on this tree. Oh, I really like that. You see the fog is starting to lift a little bit and I can see that dock now coming through the tree. So I was really fortunate that when I made my exposure that dock was obscured by the fog. So it's important to work quickly while you have identified your subject. Got to capture it before it changes. The fog was scheduled to lift by now, but it's still hanging around, which is great. So I'm just going to keep going and see what else I can find. So here's another roadside location that I've been keeping my eye on, hoping for a fog. And it looks really good. I love how the trees just recede into the fog. This is one of the compositions I'm working on. This is another composition I just worked on, just a vertical right here with that little nice gesture of that tree at the top, right there, at the top of the frame, and then just coming down to about here with the beautiful fog and the trees just receding into that fog. 
so nice. And then this is the other one that I worked on, getting past these near trees. And just something about like that. Uh, I'll fix the little highlights poking through the top. I just kind of want it dark on top. But then that nice, nice line of those trees and the near, um, newer, younger trees against the older, taller trees. I really like that. Okay, so that was my second location. Uh, what a great opportunity to get those trees in fog like that. Uh, I've driven by and stopped at that spot so many times, and uh, this is the best conditions I've ever had for it, so I'm really excited. So now, just down the road a little ways, there's another little uh, pull-off, a uh, little recreation area that goes right down to the water, and I photographed there before, but I'm gonna pull in here and see what it looks like today. So I've arrived at this little recreation area that's just on the shore of Choctaw Hatchie Bay uh, here in Northwest Florida where I live. And the fog is so thick, I literally can't see the water. So this is great. I've photographed here before in the fog and have a really nice picture that I like a lot. Uh, I'll link to that here. And so now I'm just hoping to see if I can find something else. Uh, these trees are just so beautiful with this coastal fog and I can't wait to explore it. So this is my first composition from this area today. Uh, it's this little burned tree here and then the white tree um, uh, with the fog. And I did it as a vertical and I think it's a nice little, little composition. So now uh, the fog is still looking really good here and I'm gonna wander all around and see if I can find something more. And maybe I'll walk down the little coastline right here uh, to another area that I've uh, been to before but never seen it in the fog. So if I can get there, assuming the tide isn't too high, um, it should be really cool to explore.
I also tried a horizontal composition, which might be even better. Never really know for sure till you get back and have a chance to live with it and work on it a bit. Uh, it has some nice curving shapes uh, to it and includes a little more uh, than the vertical did. I think I like it better. So I'm at about uh, 100 millimeters, sixth of a second, F16. Lock up the mirror. And grab the picture. Oh, that's great. Love it. Beautiful. Nothing better than a good fog. Well, I didn't find anything on my walk down the beach, but it was good to see that area again. Uh, the fog was sort of starting to lift then, and it's really lifted now. So I think I'm done for today, but it was good to see that area uh, under some different conditions, and I'll sure be back. So I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed being out in the fog today, and please join me on the next one. Mm -hmm.